All right, guys, Thursday, June 27th. The market's just meandering around. Earlier, we had on the open. I'll talk about that in a second. But right at 1015 Central, this is why it's important to understand what's driving the market and what comments could push us or pull us. This particular case out of nowhere, let me pause it again. Cudlow says, White House or uh, Cudlow says, U.S. may move ahead on additional tariffs on Chinese products. So it's bearish, right? And you got to react to it. You got to know where the market is. Let's play it. You got to know where the market is. Actually, let me. This is real speed. You got to know where the market is and where um, it could go. And then if, if you have to sell it a little late after it starts moving lower in anticipation, it's a bearish comment. You got to be in a timely fashion to hear that, in fact, it was bearish to keep you in the trade. So as the market's just flapping back and forth, you're going to see it just the bottom start to fall out and it get really aggressive to the downside. And it left from around 28 even in the S&P. But 26 half was catchable. Let me, uh, it's not playing. Let me try something. There we go. Pause it. Play it. All right. So watching on the right hand side, they're starting, they start hitting it around 28 even. And they um they hesitate a little bit around 26 half, then take another leg lower. Be nice if it moved a little faster here. Real slow day, waiting for kind of the results of this G20 meeting. G came out with comments overnight. Here it is. So I stopped it. Right there, they leave it from around 28, 28 quarter. All right. So the people that sold it best sold it in here. 402, hit the bid, hit the bid, hit the bid. Look at my cursor. All of these, that's pretty good size, taking out the entire resting bid. The reason why there are zeros on the right side of a footprint is because the market didn't allow any time for the offer to trade any contracts because it just went down quick. People just reach and sell it. That's why there's zeros on the other side and any footprint because the market doesn't just leaves that area. There's no time to buy the 2775 offer here because it's already 27 quarter offer, 27 offer. The offers aren't trading, right? So that's where the first group of guys were able to get it. Then as you see, now it happened so fast on, on this let me do this for some reason let me replay for some reason the um this isn't allowing me to play at regular speed that was two times the speed which is too fast let's rewind it a second and see what happens let's see if it allows me to do it all right tom thanks for your help We'll see you tomorrow. That's something I'm doing on regular speed. So let's watch it again. So it's trading 20 up to 29, comes back to 28. I'm just going to have to watch it at double the speed. If you got Sierra, use it on regular speed and just watch where you might have been able to catch it. But there's a progression you have to go through. I'm going to explain it in a second. Number one, you have to – there we go. So number – I stopped it. Number one, you have to understand what's driving the market. All right, once you're past that. Then you have to understand that comments that come out 
from certain people could drive us. What are those comments? What's going to move us up or down? And then can, can you anticipate it? Without even hearing it, um, I knew he was being interviewed. He said something. You're able to jump on these 26 halves. Let me play it and stop it. Play it. Stop it. All right. I went too fast. But on real time, you'll see the volume start to trade on both sides, right? So you remember I said the market just went so fast it didn't allow anybody to trade on the offer. It just kept going offer, 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 offer. This was the first, so to speak, hesitation. So if you follow my line, it goes straight down, hesitates a little bit, and then goes down. This is your opportunity to sell it if you think the comment is bearish enough. But if you're not anticipating what a comment could be, who could have said it, what kind of where you where where it left from and where you're selling it, how far from the premium are you getting it? Meaning premium is where the price exactly was when this piece of news hit the the wires. How soon you're getting it, and uh, most importantly listening to the comment in real time so you know hey yeah there's some validity to this i got it what's most important in trading headlines is to get it to go your way asap can't hang around and that's what's also once you get good at it on decent comments on you know stuff that you could catch um you know if you're right or wrong pretty quickly also you don't have to sit with it but that this por portion right in here is if anybody took a shot you got it, and you had immediate winner down to 22 even. Even if you screwed up the exit, which I did, still make money on it. Um, so it's like you, you got to you gotta be in front of that information and know what to do with it. So someone asked me, you know, here's how you execute it also. So it goes down pretty quickly and shoots back up, back to 26 half. There's no coincidence that it comes back the first time on this rotation to this thin spot right there. The next time it comes back up into here, kind of where it started and where most people might have sold it. And you just play it through. That's overhead resistance a few times, that 26 even area, not just because of the yellow line open, but because that's where this thin spot up here ended, where most people might have been able to sell it in this thin spot. So it's no coincidence that was overhead resistance in real time. And we've stayed weak essentially since this 1015 central comment in the S&P as that is. So let me bring over, let me bring over, remember it doesn't, it didn't move as fast as you saw it. Move fast, but not that fast. Let me stop this and let that reload. And I'll show you on a dome how you have to go in there to sell it. Let me get rid of this. Let me put this. Now I got to let me let this load here. So let me pull a dome over. Let me put SIM on because I'm just going to hit the market. If you try to do this when the market, what is this, on one lot should be? Yeah, all right. So if you want, if the market gets hit on a news event and you just go like this and start putting in offers, you're not going to, you're not going to get it. And if you get it, you're not going to want to get it. You're not, you're not going to want it. You got to be aggressive and you got to be aggressive and get in here, reach down with the arrow and sell it. And not even, you might get a better price, but you got to reach down. You don't have to reach way down in here. There'd be too much risk. And you, the worst price you're going to sell are 21 quarters. Wherever your arrow is, is the worst price you're going to sell. The market's really kind of get fast and thin out. But you you can't play games. It, it drops a little bit. You got to get in there and hit inside a bit or two if you really want it. And then it should keep going for you if you're right. If it does what it just did, you got to get the hell out. But you can't see the market come in and you want to sell it. And you're just going to fish behind the net like this. 
good luck. That ain't going to work. So you got to get in there. Whatever you got your chamber loaded for, you got to put yourself in a position to double click, triple click, whatever, how much you want. But if you want them, reach down a couple ticks to get them. But you have to know where you're going with it because if you don't and you can't get out as quick as you can get in, you're in trouble. Now, I'm not saying there's a headline a day or headlines a week that this is so super easy. You guys will make a ton of money. It's just a tool that you should get better at being able to read because even if you can't catch a headline, you could – make heads or tails out of a move sooner rather than later. Maybe you can get out of an open position sooner rather than later. God forbid you're long. Wouldn't it be nice to react quickly and get out of 26 half instead of having to take heat to 22, which is where it went? Of course. So that's how you execute that move. You can't be patient. You want to sell it, sell it. Reach a tick or two into the, into the bid. 